Hello everybody, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Day with your Public Lands Council weekly weather update for this October 5th, 2024. It's being brought to you by WSR Insurance Services Incorporated and Ag Risk Advisors. I wish I had something new and different to talk about weather-wise, but I don't. We're going to continue with this unseasonably warm, dry weather in the West for another week. And it may be two weeks before there's anything really big that's going to change the pattern we're in now. So more dry, warm weather through the West. By next weekend, we might see some showers move into parts of the West, maybe. But the bigger changes are coming after around the 18th of October. When we look at what's happened over the last week, well, precipitation wise, you can see definitely skewed towards the Carolinas, Florida and Georgia from Hurricane Helene, but elsewhere across the United States, boy, very, very quiet weather conditions, very warm as well. When we take a look at what we're concerned about in the short term, really for the next week, all the pink you see right here in the brown is concerns for dry, windy conditions and very high fire danger. That'll be a concern here in the coming days. This is because strong jet stream winds continue to straddle the US Canadian border. Now this tends to lead to breezy and windy periods in the Northern Plains and Rockies and that exacerbates the high fire danger. And this is the pattern with these little waves coming through will continue to be the case. And here you can see the wind forecast through the weekend. Very windy in Montana, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, North Dakota, parts of Wyoming, parts of the Northern Great Basin and Intermountain West. We're gonna deal with strong gusty winds. Precipitation, as you would expect with the jet stream staying north, that's where the precipitation is gonna be, north into Canada and the Pacific Northwest. Look at all this real estate here of little or no significant precipitation into next week. And you can see why, a big ridge of high pressure overhead. By next weekend though, we've got this area of low pressure here that's gonna come in. Now, not convinced this will be a big producer of rain, but there will be some rain chances, maybe with this low in the Western United States next weekend. But that's it. We're gonna to have to wait a little bit longer. What I'm showing you here are two different model looks at the middle of October. This is around the 18th. We start to see changes out in the Pacific. Cold air is building up here. And we're seeing hints that the jet stream is going to want to push more into the west around or after the 18th. And we see this on the artificial intelligence model as well, that the western United States is going to undergo a change, basically a 180. And you can see that in the temperature forecast. The temperature anomaly through the 14th of October is still very, very warm and dry. But look what happens the week preceding Halloween starts to get much colder in the west and by november that cold spreads further inland from mexico to canada and the warm flips to the east while the west gets colder so we do see changes coming but they're still probably two weeks away snowfall you can see this change as well this is the 30-day snowfall forecast this takes us through november 4th so by the end of october and early november we're probably going to start to see fronts be more productive at making colder weather and better chances of snow. Not even, not just the mountains, but the lower elevations. And look what happens if we go out two more weeks towards the middle of November, the snow gets deeper, further south and more widespread. So the writing's on the wall that this current warm dry pattern is gonna change, but it's gonna be stubborn and it's gonna be slow to change for another week or two. When we look at precipitation over the next seven days, very sparse. These are the showers that may develop in the western United States by next weekend. Otherwise, you can see a lot of the U.S. is dry, although Florida is likely going to see another tropical storm or weak hurricane possibly forming next week. We'll need to watch that. The next seven days, very warm temperature-wise and snowfall-wise, as you would expect. Not much to show on the map except some snow in the Canadian Rockies. Have yourself a good week ahead. I'm meteorologist Don Day.